So, so I thought I'll show you around a lowrider paint job uh, and some of the techniques I use to get the uh, the van lowrider effect. And they're very similar techniques to what I've used on a lot of my other builds. Um, maybe different colours or different styles and use of the candies, but all quite simple um, techniques. So obviously the first thing you want to do is get your base coat down. And usually for lowriders, it's a silver base coat. And that way, when you spray your candy over it, um, the translucency of the candy will show that reflective um, silver base. This one actually has a gold base. So a slightly different look, but it still reflects uh, through the candies. Then you want to do your line work. And I've shown in a few videos the glass sheet, the metal ruler, slicing the uh, masking tape, getting your strip. Um, so it's really the same process and then mapping out your patterns on the car. Uh, sometimes it's a good idea to just work with the body lines of the car and get it flowing and then you can get into sectioning parts off and uh, creating designs. And there's lots of great painters out there you can uh, use as examples. This is like a cake masking um, tape. It's adhesive on the back side, um, but uh, you know it can be used for different lowrider patterns. And then this is actually lace material that's used in dresses or I don't know your grandmother's tablecloth. Um, now. This is the roof of the van and there's a couple of techniques going on here. So you can see at the front side of the van, there's different lines with different shades of the candy. And then from the back, you can see it's dark blue and then it fades into a lighter blue. And so I'll explain very simply how I got that effect. But as you can see the silver outline to map out your uh, overall pattern so this is the same on the hood, the same line work as what was on the front of the roof. And you'll map out your um, masking tape on your panel, different strips, and you'll pass over with the candy um, in an initial layer. And then pull back some of the strips, uh, which exposes the next level of base coat silver. And then you'll spray the candy over everything again, a few more strips, etc. So you start working out different um, gradients of the uh, candy blue. And you can do it in a random pattern um, or you can do it in a sequence depending on the look you're after. And then I like to leave you know, the thin lines to be as light as possible just so they stand out more. Okay. Um, so looking at that, if you look at the hood again, you can kind of see, you know, how that's been achieved, right? Pretty straightforward, pretty good effect. Then you can see on the van, I've also done it on the side at the top, and that's in a more gradient style. So I'd spray everything and then remove the lower um, pieces of masking. Then on the bottom, I've laid out a pattern sprayed the candy and then I've removed the pattern of masking and sprayed the candy again and so you've got those two steps of um, candy gradients. Now on the rear part of the roof it's actually a different color of blue candy um, and really it's about getting that fade right just build up the layers it doesn't need to be too heavy the layers um, and then it's really just spraying downwards and angling the piece away, or if you feel confident, angle the airbrush away, just make sure the paint doesn't come out of the, uh, the bowl. Next is this gold. Um, and there's a few ways to do that. And if you look closely, there's a pattern on there. So spray gold candy on, then use some of that cake decorating adhesive tape in whatever orientation you want, just stick it on, or you can turn it vertically and spray a bit, then move it back, spray a bit, move it back, etc. 
but you want to create those two different tones of um, the same color. And then the number of layers and how heavy you spray the candy on depends on how different it will look between the high point and the low point. Now on the chassis on the underside, you can see a pattern, that lacy pattern there. Obviously the chassis itself is uh, now over it. But if I put the lace over the chassis or the underside, you can see how that pattern of the leaf is also the pattern of the um, underside. And it's really just painted on, but there is um, a couple of things to keep in mind if you want to make sure that that uh, lace pattern comes through nicely. Um, so it needs to be as flat of a piece as possible. You'll lay the lace down, spread it out and tape the edges so that it's nice and taut and there's no distance underneath the lace and you'll just spray it with the airbrush over. Next is your bare metal foil. So to get that silver chrome around the handles and the windows, bare metal foil, I can do a separate um, tutorial on those, but there's plenty out there. Um, cut it down to size and then I'll always do BMF, um, bare metal foil before the uh, clear coat goes on so it seals it. And then if you see on this gold one again, there's actually 24 karat variated gold leaf in that centerpiece. And that's achieved by laying down some glue or size, piecing the gold leaf onto it, patting it down, letting it all dry. And then once it's relatively flat, just hit it all with, uh, with the clear coat. And uh, clear coat, sand, clear coat, sand. Same with this one. Clear coat, sand, clear coat, sand until you get everything nice and smooth. Sometimes with your candies and pearls, you can get different variations uh, between the layers. So don't be afraid to sand it back down with 2000 grit just to get it all nice and smooth. That thick blue line is actually a solid blue and I did that to break up the candy and anchor down some, some shape so well. Uh. But this is the finished product. So relatively straightforward, good luck and let me know how you go.